For today's video, we're going to try to solo our first power level 191 mission. In order to get power level 191 husk, you need to increase the difficulty on any regular power level 128 mission. And it has to be a regular mission because you're not going to be able to increase the difficulty for group missions. And if you increase the difficulty to the max, you'll get power level 191 husk. And the one we're going to try to solo is this fight the category 2 storm. And we'll be using base Kyle to increase our building health as well as the supercharged traps team perk. And for our support team, we have the Ice King, Mega Base Kyle, Thunder Thor, Demolitionist Penny, and Power Base Penny. And for our gadgets, we have the Banner and the Slow Field. All right, well, before we start the mission, I do want to increase the difficulty as much as possible. All right, so for this first one, we just need one blue glow. Stand by for, an for the second one, alert. you'll need two. Stand by for, an for the third one, alert. you'll need three. The fourth one, you'll need three. Three for the fifth one. Max difficulty. Oh, is that it? Stand by for an important weather alert. All right, there we go. So I'm not sure how much blue glow that was, but we had to increase it five times. Let's go ahead and get started, people. That's enough blue glow. You got this, Commander. All right, and I did overbuild, by the way. I actually like overbuilt by a lot. Oh, we do have power level 191 husk. Uh oh. So the weapon we're going to be using is this level 130 nature bazooka. We also have three defenders, three sniper defenders, and they're each using 130 obliterators. And we placed down a lot of traps like in all directions so I'm gonna try to keep an eye on everything I don't, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do this without shooting or not probably not but let's go ahead and use a slow field over here and we do have our base connected over here I kinda of feel like this one's well protected a little bit but we don't have a base over here so I may use my banner. Matter of fact, oh, matter of fact, let's go ahead and use our banner now. Just in case we die, we can respawn on the banner. And it also increases your health uh, for 45 seconds. So let's go ahead and use that over here. So far, we haven't needed to use our weapon yet, which is good. I want to try to go through the whole thing without using it, but I don't know. See, look, they're breaking in over here, making me nervous. Uh, hopefully we do not get sploders. That's the only thing sort of making me nervous here. <gasps> Alright, you know what? I'm getting out of here. Before I get one shot, let me get out of here. Repair everything. Oh, and let's double check over here as well. But yeah, I think the best traps to use when it comes to power level 191 are the floor traps. The floor launchers. Because it seems like they do a lot of damage when the husk uh, down. land back down. So I kind of feel like those are probably the best traps. Maybe wall launchers. Uh, so you can push them in pits and push them back. Make them start over. Wall launchers are probably the second best. And maybe ceiling gas traps are the third, I think. Because they can help you take out the weaker husk before they get close to your base. And I kind of want to repair this over here. Let's repair all this good stuff. I did place a couple of traps like over their spawn a little bit. Oh, let's check the other side. Looks like they're breaking through over here. Uh-oh. We may have to use our rocket launcher, people. We may have to use our rocket launcher. Come on, traps. Get them. Oh, <gasps> is that exploder? No. Oh, man. Oh, I'm scared to throw down another one. Okay. Just let them go. Let them go. It's okay. Let's replace everything. Oh, man. We're about to die, too. All right. Let's go heal ourselves. Oh, man. That was rough. So, yeah. The exploders are, like, my main concern at, at this point. I kind of feel like they could do the most damage out of all of the husks. So as soon as our slow field gets done, we'll go ahead and place it down again. Oh, they're breaking through over here now. Uh-oh. Oh, man. 
Might have to use our rocket launcher, people. I'm trying my best not to, but I feel like we're going to have to eventually. All right, so let's see what's going on over here. I'm kind of wondering where I should put my slow field. Let's put it over here. Let's just put it right there. Why are they still breaking through this? Let's try to add another layer. Come over here, man. Uh, let's go ahead and drop a plasma grenade. I don't think that counts as a weapon. Uh, we're already past halfway. We're doing all right. Uh, it's not as difficult as I thought it would be. Uh, I've already soloed the power level 128 group mission. And the highest power level you can get with that is 174. So uh, that one felt kind of easy. So I kind of thought this one may be a little bit easy as well. But yeah, if you place down enough traps, you shouldn't have any problems with these higher difficulty missions. The only thing is, like, I kind of feel like the rewards might not be worth it compared to the missions we had before the update. And there's a blast over here. I'm running away. Look, blasters can almost one-shot you. So far, we're doing all right, though. Let me double check on the other side see what's going on over here oh we need to heal we need to heal so far we haven't used any oh we lost one. Oh man I don't know how they burst through over here but yeah for those of you who have tried these new higher difficulty twine peak missions let me know what you think about them also notice that it's harder to farm in these higher missions <gasps> I noticed that it's harder to farm in these higher difficulty missions because your pickaxe doesn't do as much damage. I'm going to try to replace that wall launcher if I can. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about it as well as the rewards. Uh, where's that blaster? Alright, let's go ahead and replace it. Oh man, don't, don't shoot me, please. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and use another banner over here. Try to increase the health of everything. Repair everything, knock them back. There we go. Beautiful. And we'll use the slow field on the other side once that resets. But yeah, we did go over the build limit and I don't think it affects uh, your payout or, oh man. I don't think it affects the chest you get at the end of the mission, so. It doesn't really matter if you go over the build limit or not, but we definitely went over by a lot. All right, so we got a minute left. We got lobbers. I'm a little nervous. Let me uh, double check, make sure everything's repaired. All right, everything's good over here. Let's double check over here. Oh, we got lobbers over here making me nervous. Let's try to repair what we can. There we go. Add some layers. Try to repair everything. But I think we got it. Uh, we don't have any takers. Oh, we do have flingers. Gonna have to watch out for flingers. And one of our defenders are down. Oh, man. They're breaking through now. Uh-oh. Let's get Grandpa back up. 30 seconds left to go. Come on, Grandpa. Help. Help, man. All right, let's go ahead and throw a slow fill. Oh, that'll work perfectly. Beautiful. And let's heal ourselves before we die. Can't believe we didn't die. Uh, the, the only reason I used the banner was because I thought we were going to go down. But we did all right. And we didn't have to use any weapons either. I actually wasn't expecting us to do this well on our first attempt. But looks like our build held up pretty well. Bonus challenge success. Good job, team. Anyways, let me know if you would like to see the gameplay where we soloed the Power Level 128 group mission. We could upload that later if you all would like to see it. Oh, wow. Look at our building. That's incredible. All right. Let's go ahead and check out the rewards while we're at it. All right. So we ended up getting a level four loot chest with some gold, sunbeam, and 156,000 hero XP. We also got 100 re-perk. Oh, we also got some V-Bucks as well as some frost up. 
and some more gold because we increased the difficulty. But yeah, that'll do it for our first power level 191 solo gameplay. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. I hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.